Eye of the Tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. There you go. I, I picked that song out. And the victim in this, 23-year-old David Bland, was hit while crossing the street, but police are still trying to figure out why he was even there. This schnooks is not a 24 hour one. It actually closes at 11 o'clock. The 911 call came in around 1115. So today, schnooks corporate will be working with Ladue police going through the surveillance video to figure out how these guys got in. Were they inside the store when it closed or did they barge in after the store closed? Remember when milk used to be simple? We drank it with our cookies. We put it over our cereal and it came from cows. Well, have you checked the dairy section lately. There's so many choices today and a lot of them really aren't milk at all. So we invited slew nutritionist Robbie Araman here to tell us the difference about all of these. First off, thank you for joining us. Welcome. My first question for you is you got milk. A police in Galesburg, Illinois, got a tip about the drugs Thursday when the train stopped in that town. Police brought in the drug dogs. Police say Barton's luggage turned up the pot along with prescription medicine and also cocaine. A lot of our viewers still have the breaches that happened at Schnucks and also Target last year fresh in their minds. So a lot of shoppers said, you know what, instead of paying for credit, I'm going to start using cash. Unfortunately, though, this new scam is targeting how you get your cash through ATMs. Well, say I invite you and Mike over over to my house. We're hanging out, having a good time, and then someone breaks in. Well, if you or Mike use deadly force against that intruder, you could get in trouble. Well, that's something that some Missouri lawmakers are working to change right now. Let me explain the castle doctrine just a little bit more. In the weather center now, early Sunday morning, and Kristen, you're saying some people are waking up to thunderstorms. Yep, we've got good news for any of you who use any of Metro services today. I am told that all trains and all buses are running on time. 212 overdoses have been reversed, meaning 212 people are still alive today because of that medicine. So why do we care? Well, because St. Louis County could become just the third department in the entire country to give it, especially for one employee, because get this two guys. They had masks on their faces. They went inside this schnooks. They went to the courtesy counter, pulled a gun and demanded money. You won't believe this, but I found out that whenever we at News 4 go into storm mode, so does the entire St. Louis Fire Department. And now firefighters tell me they are working to change the culture. They want us to be more proactive than reactive, and they want us to get the message out to all of you that it's better to be ready before you hear a tornado siren instead of waiting until a tornado hits. So here's some things that you can do this very weekend. First, you're going to want to get an emergency kit ready and put it either in your basement or an interior room. In the last week, there have been four homicides and nine drive-by shootings all in the city of St. Louis. Please say they need your help to stop this spike. Setting up some type of account on your smartphone to get alerts anytime there's activity on your credit or debit card. I actually did that a couple years ago. I really like it because anytime I make a transaction, I get a text. It shows me how much I paid where I paid it to. So if you get a text and you didn't make that payment, you know it right away. Now, unfortunately for you Illini football fans, we do not have any video of that spring game, but we wore Illinois colors today. Did I? We did, yeah. <laughs> we called each other. You know, I'm a big Illini fan, so I appreciate the blue. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, <laughs> You're total like, no. coincidence. Yeah, that you worked out great. <laughs> now, yesterday was a great day Wasn't for spring beautiful. football, mm -hmm. for baseball this afternoon. Different Could story. be a different story. So this weekend, I'm going to put together an emergency kit Ooh. for myself. I like to be better safe than sorry, and according to those fire officials, probably wouldn't be a bad idea for you to do the same. Kent, I know after you have a long day of wearing high heels and dresses, right? No? No. Oh, okay, just me. Sorry. After a long day of when I wear my heels and dresses, I like to go home, and I'll be honest, I like to put on my athleisure. Kind of a weird word. Let me explain a little bit. We begin this morning with new concerns about safety. News 4 is tracking a spike in crime in the city of St. Louis. In just one week, four people have been murdered. Brittany Noble is learning what police are doing to end the trend. Police say you could get a good deal on these. Claire, this is what I like to call a steal. Now, all you need is 40 bucks. So just uh, two of these guys, and you could possibly be the new owner 
of a used car. Now here are the three cruisers Shiloh police are auctioning on eBay. A 2007 and two 2006 Crown Victorias. Now when I say used cars, these are very used. The assistant police chief tells me that all the cars have more than 100,000 miles on them and they will be auctioned as is. So keep in mind, two of them start just one runs and if you win the third, you'll need to tow it from the lot. So why is the department looking for cash for these clunkers? Because they are not needed anymore and any money raised in the auction will go back to the department's general fund. The auction just started the starting bid. Again, get your 20s out. It's $40. You can bid on them on eBay through next Saturday. We have all that information on our website, kmov.com. Also, I will continue to monitor the auction and when it's over, I'll let you know how much those uh, beauties went for. A New Yorker who typically sells gold and diamonds to Hollywood elite gets targeted and tied up by a suspected robber. The heist all caught on surveillance cameras. Happening today, the Blues play their final regular season game at Scott Trey. They take on Detroit at 1130 this morning. Even after losing five games in a row, the Blues can still win the Central Division title. That is if they get at least one point today and if Colorado loses to Anaheim. Now, the Blues have been hit with an incredible run of injuries at the end of the season. Patrick Berglund joined the list Friday night in Dallas with what appears to be a shoulder or collarbone injury. Coach Ken Hitchcock would only say that Berglund is out right now. The Blues have seven of their top forwards on the bench with injuries. Cardinals fans, wouldn't it be nice to finish this first full week of baseball in the Lou with two series wins against division rivals? Yeah, I think so. Well, that could happen today as the Cards and Cubs face off with a 115 first pitch. Yesterday, though, the game started just about as badly as it possibly could for pitcher Adam Wainwright. His first pitch to Cubs leadoff hitter Junior Lake drilled into deep left and into the seats for a home run. That's one pitch, one nothing for the Cubbies. Cards tied it in the second. Matt Adams with a laser to right. It's gone. First of the year for Big City. Tie game at 1-1. Redbirds go on to get three more runs in the second on their way to a 10-4 victory. Wainwright picks up his second win of the season. Now the Cardinals first weekend series at home is drawing huge crowds to Ballpark Village before, during and after the games. Fans have been eating, drinking, and enjoying all the new attractions. Visitors we talk to are giving Ballpark Village two big thumbs up. You know, you go out of town a lot of times to other, other, other cities and they don't, you know, they have stuff like this, but this is phenomenal. I'm really enjoying it. You can go there before a game, after a game, like not even a game, and just there's tons of people having a blast. It's, it's awesome. I love it. I checked it out this week, too. It is awesome, and I loved it as well. The Drunken Fish is the latest restaurant to open at Ballpark Village. Now, who doesn't love a home-cooked Italian meal? Yeah, the meals do look intimidating, but our next guest is going to help us through all of it. It is Chef Giuliano Hazan, and he is the author of Hazan Family Faves. He joins us this morning to show us how to make spaghetti alla carbonara. Perfect. How was that? You, see, you said it perfectly. <sighs> So it's, it's a well-known dish, okay. and a lot of and reason people like it is because it's creamy. But actually, it doesn't have any cream in it whatsoever. Hmm. What makes it creamy is using raw eggs. Oh. But sometimes people are a little concerned about raw eggs, mm -hmm. so I'm using Safest Choice pasteurized eggs. Okay. And these are eggs that you can use in any dish that calls for raw eggs without any worry of salmonella or anything like that. Like the idea of so that. So I'm going to start with a little bit of olive oil in this pan here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it nice and hot, I see. I never know how hot it's going to get. <laughs> it's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, it's really hot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay, you have a very powerful stove. <laughs> Keep my hair go. away from that. <laughs> Let's put the wine in early. How's okay, that? there we go. Woo! <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so we have butter, olive oil, and white wine. Then mm -hmm. we have pancetta. Pancetta is like Italian bacon. Okay. And we're going to saute it in our Ooh. very powerful grill here. <laughs> now, normally you don't use a grill. And you stir it up. Well, it smells good already with well, that wine. Well, you see, that's the white there. wine. Yeah. Let's put a little bit more of it in, okay? I'm not complaining to that. Okay. There we go. We're back to normal. <laughs> okay. All right. Woo! <laughs> 
So in here, this is the bowl where we're going to toss the pasta. Okay. And we're going to add some Italian flat leaf parsley. Mm -hmm. I saw you char chopping that up earlier. That's right. And then this is Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. And Pecorino, which is like a Romano cheese. It's a sheep's milk cheese. So the two cheeses are a little bit different. That okay. one is a little bit more uh, savory. Mm -hmm. And then for the eggs, I'm just going to use the yolks because the yolks make it really nice and rich. Mm. And this is the part where you get to come in oh, and help no. me, because I'm gonna need you to stir all of this up I very well. Okay, here you go. And here's your spoon. I'm glad you didn't give me the fire job. No, no, <laughs> no, I think we're all safe now, it's okay. okay. So let's just add a like little this. bit of salt. Okay. And then let's add a little bit of black pepper, stir it all really well to be vigorous. This is your morning exercise. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to add the pasta. The All pasta right. goes in straight from being cooked. Because it's the heat of the pasta you see that starts to cook the egg, but not oh. really completely. Do I still stir? Stir, stir vigorously. <laughs> there you go. And no, I'm not lying when I say I don't cook, so. Then we put in this mixture here, which is the pancetta and the white wine mm -hmm. and the olive oil and butter and lots of fire. Here we go. Well, it smells great. And then. I'll you, let you do it. There we go. You just really stir it well like this. And you see how it's starting to get creamy? Mm -hmm. It's because it's cooking that egg just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Very nice. And then we're ready to serve it. Mm -hmm. You know how this dish started, or at least they say it started? It was uh, Americans in a trattoria in Rome who asked for uh, bacon and eggs with a side of pasta. So they brought them sunny side up eggs mm -hmm. and some pancetta and then the pasta and they put it all together. Yeah, I like that. So it could be your your late breakfast. It will be. If you want to taste. It definitely will be. That is great. Okay. So remind our viewers what kind of eggs, because I'm sure a lot of people are thinking. So they're called Safest Choice mm -hmm. Pasteurized Eggs. They're available in supermarkets, and it's it's a great way to use eggs worry-free, but they also taste really good. Because okay. to prevent recontamination, they seal them with food-grade wax. Mm -hmm. So when you put them in the refrigerator, they don't take on the flavors and odors that are in the fridge. Mm -hmm. It's like... Uh, you know, if you put eggs in a bowl of broccoli, mm -hmm. they take on the flavor of the broccoli because eggs are porous. So these will taste fresh Great. all the time. So how hot do we need the stove for this? Well, we need the uh, stove at sort of a medium high heat. Okay. So that when you put the <laughs> pachita in, you know, it, it like lightly browns. Okay, It okay. doesn't catch on fire. Perfect. And uh, <laughs> okay. so how long should we cook the noodles for? Any uh, specific time? See, you I know, told you I don't know. You cook, always have so to taste really with noodles. Don't know. You can't put a timer. Okay. So, you know, look at the package instructions and then start tasting them about two minutes beforehand. Perfect. And okay. I understand you're going to have a busy night because there's a cooking class at the Deerberg's in De Pair <clears throat> that right. you are going to be hosting. I'm doing a whole Italian menu there. Great. I'm doing a uh, variation on the carbonara. That was my recipe. question. I'm doing one with zucchini. Oh. So you saute zucchini as mm -hmm. well with the pancetta and the white wine. Very nice. So it, it's really nice. So Chef Hazan, it'll be from 6.30 to 8.30 tonight at the Deerberg's in De Pair. You're going to be hosting. I am. Very nice. Hope Thank you so much. to see you there. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> Laura, I got to ask. What? You said you don't cook? Uh, no, I don't cook. So I, you yeah, look, so, look at that. You cook. I, you I, I, I made this. You look, look so comfortable yeah. stirring that. I cannot I believe I you don't cook. You look right at home in the I, kitchen. Mm -hmm, yep. I'm, I'm right at home when I eat it. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> Serious. Well, thank you very much for having hey, thank me. Thank you so Thanks, much. Chef. Nice to meet you. All right, let's switch gears a little bit. What do you say? The Academy Award winning movie Fargo has been adapted and turned. Thank you for joining us for a great day, St. Louis. I have to say it was an adventure. Yes, it was. You almost <laughs> burned place to the ground, but you did a great job. Not my fault. <laughs> if you singed your eyelashes, we have some of that I know. serum for you. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> have a great weekend, St. Louis. <laughs> So if you're heading out to Palm Sunday services, grab an umbrella. Thanks for joining us. CBS Sunday Morning is coming up next right here on News 4. Have a great day.